Did you know that you can test your API directly in Android Studio? No more switching between a Postman and a your code editor. You can create and run a HTTP requests, gRPC, WebSockets, and even a GraphQL. Then you can inspect response headers, highlight a JSON code automatically, and even validate your responses with lightweight tests. You can write tests for your API even before writing a single line of code in your app, which makes this tool so powerful. Now, let me show you what you can do with it. So, uh, you can find this uh, plugin directly in the marketplace of your Android Studio. It's called the uh, HTTP Client. Now, this tool was uh, once reserved for uh, IntelliJ ID Ultimate users, but now Android Studio developers finally get access to it. After you install this uh, plugin, you will notice that uh, when creating the new file, a new HTTP file extension will appear. And that's the place where you actually define your uh, endpoints, requests, and the API tests. Let's begin by creating the new HTTP file. We will name it something like uh, My API. As soon as you create this file, Android Studio will uh, generate a simple HTTP request for you. At the top of this file, you'll notice a line with uh, three hash symbols. This is a special syntax that uh, separates uh, multiple HTTP request uh, syntax within a single file. Below that, you will find the HTTP request and endpoint for the request. There are uh, several HTTP methods available for different operations, like uh, get, post, put, patch and delete. After specifying the method, you can include the endpoint that you want to fetch. To demonstrate this action, let's try out a free testing API called the JSON Placeholder. It supports various endpoints and methods. For now, let's use the endpoint that returns a list of about 100 post objects. Simply copy the URL and paste it in our HTTP file. You can also rename the request to something meaningful, like get all posts, so it's easier to manage. The plugin also allows you to add uh, custom uh, HTTP headers. For example, you can include the accept header to indicate that uh, you expect the JSON response only. And once the request is ready, we can click the play button uh, next to it to send a request. You'll receive a, a full JSON response along with uh, all associated response headers, right inside your editor. Another useful feature of this uh, plugin is the ability to generate the new request template using this uh, plus icon on the top. Let's select the post request template. A basic structure will be generated for you. You can now customize it, for example, by using the same endpoint as before, but this time we are sending data to the server. Since the content type is uh, set to the application JSON, you will need to format this uh, request body into the proper JSON. If you use the wrong format, Android Studio will show a warning. Once you're done, click the play button again to send a request. If everything is set up correctly, you'll get a successful response showing that the data was received. If you want to run all requests in this file at once, you can click the double play button on the top. This will execute every request in this file in that specific order. Now, let's try uh, changing the content format to uh, URL encoded. You'll need to use the correct format, by the way. In this case, instead of the JSON, each uh, field is defined using the equal symbol, and then multiple fields are uh, separated by the ampersand symbol. Next, let's talk about the environment. So, if you are using the same values like the base URL across uh, multiple requests, it's a good idea to centralize them. That way, you won't have to repeat yourself. To set this up, let's click the plus icon on the top again. On the bottom of this drop-down, you will see uh, two disabled options, the first one for creating the general environment file, and the second one for uh, generating the sensitive data like uh, API keys. Although these uh, options uh, may be disabled, there is a simple workaround. You can manually reference an environment variable using this specific syntax. Android Studio will detect the missing file and the offer to generate it for you. Once created, feel free to move this file to your project's root directory. 
Inside this file you can define multiple environments, like a development and production. Even if they use the same URL for now, this setup allows you to easily switch between development and production environments using the drop-down at the top of our HTTP file. You can define as many variables as you need per environment, for example a base URL, tokens or custom headers. Finally, let's take a look at one of the most powerful features of this plugin, and that is the API test functions. Not only that you can send requests and receive responses directly within your editor, but you can also write uh, test functions to validate the responses. This eliminates the need to run your app, launch an emulator, or uh, set up the cator just to test the endpoint. Let me show you how this uh, syntax actually works. So this is a lightweight uh, JavaScript syntax. The test function takes the name and the block of assertions. In this example right here, we are now checking that the response status is actually 200. To run this uh, test, we can execute this uh, function above. If the test uh, passes, great. If it fails, you will see the line that references that uh, same uh, function, but unfortunately, not a detailed error message. I have noticed that uh, using console log inside the test function does uh, not seem to work at the moment. In addition, to check the status code, you can also validate the response data. For example, you can verify that the title field exists and contains the value. This uh, test will help you ensure that your endpoints behave as expected, quickly and efficiently. If you want to explore uh, even more features of this uh, plugin, I uh, highly recommend checking out the official documentation. This tool is incredibly useful and uh, it will definitely be a valuable part of your API development workflow. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and thank you for watching.